I wanted to kind of just go real quickly over this enlarging the inlet on this old LT1. We're going to say like 93 to 97 LT1 slash LT4 engines. Uh, basically what they're wanting to do is enlarge the openings to match dual 58 millimeter throttle body. What I do in this circumstance is I just ordered the dual 58 millimeter uh, gasket, centered it, bolted it down and described the 58 millimeter opening. And you can see it makes a significant difference. I'm basically gonna use a, a large double, or I'm sorry, large single cut burr to just work this down sort of close. Like I don't wanna get all the way to the line with the rough cut burr. I just wanna do rough material removal and then bring it in closer to the line, to fine tune it, you know, cause it is, you are, going to have to go slow and you have to recognize that you are doing a circle that you want to make as perfectly round as possible free-handed All right, guys, I didn't want to bore you with all that uh, raw material removal. But I just wanted to show you I was using a fairly aggressive single cut non-ferrous bit or burr to just kind of knock material out. Material removal. Then I'll switch over to a this single cut flame just to do a little bit more material removal. And then I'll switch over to a straight drum double cut burr to do my final shaping so that way I can sneak up on that line without losing it all together or, or, or over cutting it which I don't want to do all right guys the reason one of the main reasons I wanted to mention that I use those larger diameter uh, cutting burrs or bits whatever you want to call them normally when you're working if you're using too small of a diameter burr or bit when you're working your cut it's easy to get divots or like the bit will dig in and put way your surface but if you'll use slightly larger diameter bits you can uh, control your movement of your tool and keep everything smooth and don't let it dig in on you you can, you can actually smooth out a lot of those rough things that you put in there with the rougher cut burr. So, uh, you can see how smoother this burr is than that large single cut. As you're coming around, you can feel it taking out all those larger leftovers, we'll say, from that other bit. Try to smooth this out. Keep working a little bit closer to your line. Don't go all the way to the line yet, because this is not the final burr. Let me get a little bit of work done with this thing, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next part.
basically all I'm showing you is that this uh, double cut burr with the flat sides. Now be careful because this is square cut or it's flat cut on the tip. So don't reach up in there and grab onto anything you don't mean to be cutting on. But what this does is it gives you a flat surface to clean up your bore. So let me give you just an example. You'll move this tool all the way around, flattening out. Like basically you're gonna crisp up and flatten this cut all the way around, which is gonna give it a better end result because you've got the right tool or burr to get that job done. So. All right guys, just to kind of review what we were working on today. We were working on this LT1 slash uh, LT4 style intake. And yes, it's full of shavings right now, but I've already got it gasket matched and fully blended. So the only thing I had left that I wanted to do was I wanted to open these up to the 58 millimeter openings for the larger like BBK style uh, dual 58 uh, throttle body uh, get it completely you know squared off at least so basically what you're gonna have is your throttle body and when those blades open you can have this hole slightly smaller than 58 millimeter because only a portion of the moon or half circle shape comes into that area but you want to have it opened up to the 58 millimeter gasket so you have absolutely zero restriction let me grab that gasket real quick now you have to order these special i did not find any in stock at our local parts stores let me see which way here we go so basically if you don't have high dollar you know, milling machines or uh, the appropriate stuff, you know, the I'm trying to think what they're called and I'm having a brain fart, but like your bridge ports or your big, uh, looks like a big drill press, but it's got like a, a, a special bit on it that can come in here and, you know, eat this out and whatever, whatever. But you'll just basically line up, let me flip it around, a little bit easier to see you just line up all your holes and uh, you, now keep in mind I, I will point this out guys on these LT1 style intakes these bolt holes are not square you can you can might be able to see like here's the bottom casting this holes way up here this one's down here see what I'm saying they're not symmetrical they're not square so you have to get your gasket on the right way Line up all your holes, scribe your gasket. So you'll see, let me get it back down here where it goes. I basically just scribe that 58 millimeter gasket to the plenum opening. And with enough patience and time and using steps, I can't stress enough with this procedure, if you want it to turn out halfway round, you're going to have to do it in in stages. You're going to start with your rough cut or your rough material removal. Come in with a medium uh, aggressiveness burr. Get a little closer to the line. Come in with your finer tuned. And since this is a round surface, you want to use the biggest diameter uh, fine cut. Either sing a really super fine single cut or a double cut bigger the the burr the better because it'll be easier to keep this smooth without digging in and getting weird lumps in it and then once you get it you know basically to the line it's up to you how far you want to uh, smooth this finish because it can be left at a 60 grit it could be polished smooth you know it could be just have a sanded finish at 120 grit this finish on this bore really has no effect on the end for uh, how much power it's going to add or airflow. This is purely just to give an unrestricted access from the new bigger throttle body to the common plenum, blah, 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 to the motor. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a representation of 
how you can uh, port these out to a round, you know, get it round enough. You know, I'm sure there's going to be some machinist out there that poops their pants and, oh God, you, you know, didn't use my $4,000 machine to cut those holes bigger. Well, you know, in reality, as long as my throttle body bolts on here and my gasket seals and there's no restriction to my airflow, you know, I feel, I feel for you and all the money that goes out for those high dollar machines. I'm not saying I wouldn't own them too if I had the money and the space to store them. But this type of procedure is very far, few and far between in my experience you know i've only done a handful of these i've done a couple of the two valve mustang guys that want these uh their dual opening made to a big oval for the mono blade you know i've done that work before but you know and i'm not 100 percent done with this because if you look close you can still see a little bit of that line but my video was getting too long and I try to keep my videos around 15 minutes. So uh, just letting you see that if you take your time, use the stages and step cut those uh, scribed openings, you can do a good job and, and, and get that done uh, at, at your leisure on your own at your own place. So DIY guys, that's another tip. Don't be uh, overwhelmed with something that you think you can't do find a way to make it happen research it put your brain on it think outside the box and get it done appreciate you guys watching the videos um, i will have some more reporting videos coming up in the next few days holidays uh permitting because i've got i'm finishing up or i got the videos i want to put up about the work on the uh, 243s and the port work, finished port work on the LT1 cylinder head. So please like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell, whatever YouTube wants you to do to get notifications, I'd ask you to please do that for me. Thanks again.